Hey guys, my name is Dave Piper. Welcome to the Cisco Toronto Test Kitchen. I want to share with you three culinary concepts today that I think are going to be really cool on your menus. And whether you do them as just put them right on the menu at the beginning of the season, roll with it, or if you want to pepper them through the season as LTOs and just gauge what your customers are feeling, that works too. But I'm excited to share them with you. I think we've got some cool world flavors here and I think it's breaking free of the classic golf menu that everyone knows. And there's a spot for a hamburger on the menu. There's a spot on that menu for a clubhouse sandwich. But these concepts, I think, bring a new excitement. And I think that's what we need this year is a little bit of new excitement. Anyway, let me get my gloves on and we'll go to the cutting board and we'll start putting this together. So I'm a big fan of taking something familiar and changing it up with the flavor profile of it. Um, first example of that is we're going to do popcorn chicken. And popcorn chicken can be done numerous different ways. But this time around, we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda elevate it a little bit, uh, and we're gonna just make it look great, full of flavor, and it's easy. We're gonna do a, a, a Korean barbecue uh, popcorn chicken. And by doing that, you, you know, like I said, you've elevated it, you've changed the profile of it, and the way we're gonna plate it, and it doesn't matter if you're putting it on a plate, you're putting it on a, uh, in a to-go container, either way, this is going to show well and the reason it's going to show well is it's got this kimchi we're going to be using so by using the kimchi it's got some great color some great flavor and i've always been a big fan of you know is the customer going to be doing this themselves at home and it doesn't matter if it's your golf course or at a restaurant i always think that way is the customer going to do this at home can the customer do this better than i can you know caesar salad a caesar salad goes on all kinds of menus everywhere and that's good but there's someone at home right now making the best Caesar salad ever so that's what's tough about that sometimes is because some people do a great job with things like this at home but today when we do our, our kimchi and our, our Korean barbecue take on popcorn chicken I just think it's a profile that people aren't going to be creating the same dish at home so I think we're safe that way and I think we're going to impress people with that let's take a look at it the thing that's awesome about doing popcorn chicken is it cooks so quickly and when the kitchen is getting slammed it's busy this is something that cooks incredibly fast so just that's one thing to think of too is the logistics of your menu this season how long is it going to take to get the food out do you have a good team this year are they skilled are they not either way you have to plan the menu accordingly so popcorn chicken great 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 because it's done in just a few minutes super quick okay let's get it on the plate so what we want to do, we want to, we hot out of the fryer, we want to add a little bit of our Korean barbecue sauce. So you're going to have, you know, kind of that sweet and sour take to it. It's got sesame right in there. And what we want to do, just enough to coat it. We don't want it to be overdone because then it's just going to be soggy and you won't have that crispness. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to drop down some of our kimchi on the plate right here, bit of a target. And what it helps us do here actually is it helps kind of bind the, uh, the chicken down to the plate a little bit. Okay, and we're going to give it a drizzle of this toasted sesame dressing just across here. And then and stack up our chicken. And again, like if you're doing this in a, in a to go, I mean, that works too. No problem at all. There we go. And it's kind of funny. Again, we're just, it's popcorn chicken, but just by the way we present it, we can really bring it up. Okay. So. We're gonna hit it with some green onions. And you can actually add the green onions to the bowl if you want and toss it with the green onions. I'm just gonna dance them across the plate here a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more of our kimchi to the top. And that really brings a pop. See the color pop on that? Trying to find a nice 
larger piece there there we go okay and if you want you could drop a couple here and a couple over there just to mix it up we'll do another drizzle of our toasted sesame dressing and this is a, this is a Cisco Imperial product quick drizzle there it's just the right amount of viscosity that it doesn't pool everywhere on the plate it kind of holds itself together a little more of our Korean barbecue sauce and we'll finish the top of it off with some sesame seeds I just have the, the plain white sesame here uh, but you can go ahead and mix it up with the, the white and the black sesame seeds but have a look at that like that is a it's a nice looking plate right that's a nice looking plate and at the end of the day we're making popcorn chicken and we've just taken the Korean barbecue flavor profile and we've run with it and it looks cool it eats awesome it eats quickly and it's super uh, super fast for your kitchen to produce this when they're really really busy let's put this one away for now and uh, let's try a couple more concepts